Uh, welcome back, viewers. I just had my first welcome back in coding fail. So, let me try to remember where I was at with everything. I was, uh, I played for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and I was hoping to encode it, and, uh, I, gotta, I have to tell you that since I have gotten Might and Heroes of Might and Magic back up running, it has been more failure than not most of the time that I try to encode. But anyway, here we go. It's a castle. We're going to go ahead and try to get into here. Um, so... Well, I already know what happens here. It's the fact that I am trying to do it again can kind of tell you that I'm not just... It's not going to be a, a total failure. Right, yep, this is all pretty much as it was before. Might as well do it the same way I did it before. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, I would have to imagine that obviously all of you play video games, and uh, I'm going to guess that none of you like having to play something twice. You know, it's one thing if you beat it, you go back and you play it again for fun, but uh, to have to play it again merely because it messed up, that sucks. I really wish this were Battle Dwarves. It'd be faster. Of course, when I did this before, it didn't even matter anyway. Take these guys down here. You can cast his spells on him, the ballista can shoot at him, you know, whatever. In the meantime, nothing is really going to happen for me until I can get these dwarves across that wall. I guess it's just a good thing that, uh, I don't know, moat. Doesn't make a huge difference, though, with dwarves. Obviously, a moat, if there's a moat, that means you have. Moving into the moat is one turn, and then you can't move further on that turn, so. Skip with them. Um, so that's what that is. Put these guys up here. Dwarves move so slowly, it really doesn't matter. Now, there was a very pitched close battle, too in my previous LP. I just gotta keep them shorter, you know. Just gotta keep them shorter. And, uh... That way it won't suck so bad when and if they fail. Pretty much. It's disappointing, you know. Obviously, there was there was a lot more, you know, doubt and oh, will this work before? But uh, this time I, this time I know whether or not it'll work because I've been there, done that, as have most people. Probably would have played more than once. Wow, that that would be really nice to have vampires, but uh, just stick with uh, leeches for now. They're really not bad. So we're on what day six right now? Yeah. These guys—they were tougher than I thought they would be. So, what's what's that? These guys. Huh. I'm not gonna waste my time on that this time. Lots of veteran pikemen. I don't suppose they would join me. I don't know how many are lots. They might, but I doubt it. Keep this guy moving up there. It's very strange knowing everything that's going to happen. That's, I'm sorry, that's a little bit of unintentional player knowledge. I can't exactly undo it. That guy mucking around over there. That's the guy I'm preparing for. There is another guy who's even worse. He's the one I had the very close battle against. So, 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 so. 
I don't know. I think I'm going to need all my money for troops. Ah, but one thing I forgot before was learning some spells. Oh, that's going to make a huge difference because doesn't she have like a ton of spell points? Oh, you fools are going to be sorry that you messed with me next time. On. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lost my bearings there. So we're going to keep these guys at these castles until day one of next week because what we really want is to go to our castle page apparently. Uh, what we really want is more troops. Um, for the time being, more or less. Uh, we'll take some halflings. Thank you very much. Haven't visited? Hmm. Let me see something here. Yeah, this one, that. We could build a jousting arena now, and that would that would reduce the amount of troops that I could buy. Hmm. Trying to think what would be best. No, because I don't need another troop anyway. Uh, let's not do that. This guy. Um. Well, let's save it and see if those guys are hostile. The thing is, that's based on um, how many guys we have. We might not have enough to scare them off. Yeah. Obviously not. So I'm just going to run and load my game. No point exploring that with that. was just... <laughs> sure it's a bit cheesy but I just wanted to see just wanted to see satisfy my curiosity let me give myself license because I had to do this crap before so a little annoyed suffice it to say I think I don't think I need to do anything at these and I don't really want to spend money because I want to have as much, much possible to, to build troops and okay oh yellow players vanish Ban it, vanish, vanish, whatever. Um, so she's got a spell book. Um, he's got a spell book, but there's nothing worthwhile in it. Uh, first priority is over here. And it's for a real reason. Gotta have these guys? Not actually that much. Uh, wait, I can't use those. I wish I had more dwarves. Uh, so, got griffins, and the real gem, oh, the real gem, is the hydra. But don't underestimate these battle dwarves. They may not have a lot of hit points, but they're pretty good. What's, what's she dealing with in terms of, uh, she's only got one spell power, but she's got a lot of spell points, so. Uh, status magic can be decent, kind of. Not that great lightning bolt could do good. Bloodlusts, blind, blind could be very useful. God knows the enemy will not hold off casting that on you. Hmm. I don't really want to pay for any fodder there. Hmm. Not gonna bother there. I'm just gonna go over here. Now I know curse. See something here. Just, uh, nothing really useful over there. There's a town. In my previous playthrough, I did go to that town, but not really much point. So here's the question: Do I want to get the rest of these guys? That's three. That would be pretty significant. Not to mention, I could get vampires potentially. So I'm gonna hold off on him. Bring him around eventually. Oh, but now I got no money to recruit for. You know. Alright, I'll have to wait till the next turn. That sucks. Can't do everything, huh? I'm gonna recruit there. Oh, oh, I got some money. I got me some money. There's some money down there, too. Okay. Good to keep in mind. It's unfortunate that it takes so long to walk on snow. God, I <clears throat> can't help but uh, look over there at that thing there. Well, it'll be expensive, but it'll be worth it. 
course, I'm not going to have as much money now because I didn't get that town. But it, it cost me. It costed me fairly dearly. Yeah, let's end our turn. It costed me somewhat dear. Let's, just, uh, let's keep this guy in here for now. And, uh, if need be, recruit some more until I have enough uh, troops to kind of do the two-pronged attack that I'm thinking of. Yeah, so let's upgrade these archers. Yeah, a lot more archers than I had last time because I put them through the I ran them through the ringer. Uh, let's see here. Swordsman? Six. Best use of my money. Let's go get some hobbits. Oh, only eight this time. An unvisited gazebo. Do I want to waste the time? How much time am I? Yeah, that would be wasting. Okay, let's go upgrade my swordsman. There. And, uh,. Over here we need to do... Oh, uh, I don't want that, I want my leeches. Well, I can only afford two though, huh? That might be enough to uh, invade a place. How much does the mansion cost? I don't know if I could... It's gonna take me like three turns to build a significant amount. Eh, I'm gonna stay there, I might wind up doing that. Get these guys. It's really not shabby. I mean, that pretty much takes him from being pathetic. Oh, I also had the gold mine, huh? I don't remember what the lean-to is for, but we'll go there. It takes him from being pathetic to being useful. So, let's see what they're fin to do. Because I know, I know what I'm fin to do. Finn to act a fool. Not really, I'm Finn to... Finn to... Whatever. You get the idea. I'm doing something. You've found an abandoned lean-to! Poking about. Well, suffice it to say, we were poking about. Get some more battle dwarves, man. And some resources, that's good. That guy's, uh... Doing some good things over there. Castle. Hmm. Can't build that. I don't have enough gems. Got a decent little force over there, so. Um. Let's move down here. And. Over here. We shall build a mansion. Uh, in order to upgrade the mausoleum, we'd have to build, upgrade our mage guild. Which is not... Yeah, that's a lot of resources. We don't have... We don't have a good variety of... Um, God, these guys are so good if you upgrade them. What do you need to do to upgrade them? Eesh. Problem is... That... Uh, the base number that you get is not that much. Like... If I look at the well, the statue. Oh, because you see the well is all tiny over there. Can you hardly see it? Where are they? Vampires? Growth five a week. Man, it's not amazing. Kind of a weak growth for. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit out of touch with game balance. But uh, so, save as campaign 4.4. And uh, with that, I'm going to sign out. And I'll see you next time, viewer, on Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 2.